you're locked in with the innovators. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell. Can you can you talk about how you became a part of uh Pyru? Because most people would say that the Bay Area don't gangbang like that. Yeah, yeah, for sure. <clears throat> when I when I was probably 14, I caught a dope case in Pittsburgh, and the police, I shook them. They was uh my actually my boy had. He bagged his work up different than me. We used to sell a little, we used to hand to hand on the corners. And my boy Claire, he he bagged his work up different than me my, and, and uh, put little knots in the top of the bags. My was just loose. I just did some little mani with my bags and had the knots in, the, in my pocket. My boy was going out of town. He was like, bro, hold these for me, tuck it up for me. I'm about to go out of town for a day and I'll come back get it. So long story short, I, I seen the police hit the corner and I had his work and my work in his jacket pocket, in two jacket pockets. And when I was running, he had I had more of his shit on, on me than my shit. So I threw it over the fence and shook and the police couldn't catch me. And in my little trailer park, it's like little, it was little pathways and I knew the whole little, little route so the police could never catch my young ass. Yeah. But they knew who I was by face. Yeah. So when I threw it, motherfuckers, I guess they found the dope and then they went back to my house and asked my dad if he could search the house while I wasn't there. My yeah. dad had, was, had some shit of his own in the house and was like, go ahead, you could just check his bedroom, but you can't check the house. So the police went in my bedroom, planted, planted the dope I had through. Wow. So they, yeah, Pittsburgh PD too. So I, wow. I, had, I had, um, uh, when I, I had a warrant for it and shit, and then I got bumped up. My they gave me, I went to court for it, and they was like, "Look, you get you get an option. You either go to CYA or if you got family out of state, you got to go out of state and stay with your family out of state and then out of state of California." They would give you that option in uh, California when when I was a kid. Yeah. So I I chose to go out of state. I didn't want to go sit down for shit. So I was like, "I got family up in Washington State. Send me up towards Seattle. I'm gonna take my first flight to SeaTac. Let's get it." I my, my grandmother stayed out there and my uncle. So I slid up there and then long story short, when I got up there, I was just making friends. I made some friends with some crib. They was gang banging up there. So it was all kind of LA people from, and banging was heavy in the early nineties and mid nineties. Yeah. So when I got up there, I made friends with some crips and then I didn't like how they was getting down. And then I made friends with some power rules and I started first started running with some West side power rules and then got pulled off. It, it was just a slow, trickle it wasn't just one thing that happened like first i got pulled over in a car with like four of the pyrus and they yanked us out and then they put me on the gang list for just being w with them yeah. so I, I knew i was already on the police list for it and then from there it was like the crips all see me hanging with them and then they labeled me as one then it just snowballed like my sister got raped by a crib when i was young so yeah, it's just like one that. thing after another led me to not feeling them and then i ended up getting put on with the homies and linking up with the Elm Streets. They was flying up from Compton and uh, flying up to sell their dope. And they, everybody was undercutting the dope sales in Compton. So they was getting more money in Seattle and they was all flying up on planes with it. So I, I just linked up with them trying to get money in the streets. And I've been running with them since my early teens, really. So yeah. that's, I, it wasn't never a, a Bay Area gangbanger thing with me. I just, people, really didn't dive into my music, I guess, enough to hear that I was always calling myself a wax rule and talking yeah. about power rule and whatnot. Like yeah. people in the Bay Area didn't really understand what that shit was until Lil Wayne and the game and certain artists started saying that shit in mainstream. And then everybody just tried to smut me and, and be like, yo, he just started doing that shit. Or he just, uh, he must've got put on in the pen or something. Like, nah, it wasn't yeah. like that. Yeah, nah.